Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Magic and Miracles, where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna, and I'm your most favorite manifestation coach under the sun. Reason why there's no such coaching program like my coaching program, because I've designed it myself, and also because nobody but nobody spends as much time with and on their clients like I do. True story. Two to three times per week, I rendezvous with all of my clients clients, irregardless of which package you book with me, which I recommend two to three months in coaching with me in order to cover my program in earnest. All information for me is below. Whatever package you choose is based on your personality and your needs. There's audio exchange unlimited, Zoom sessions unlimited, as well as phone, um, uh, phone call deluxe. And phone call deluxe is for somebody who wants to be obviously more on the phone and in between have correspondence with me via um, text, emails, and also audios in between, but the audios cannot exceed five uh, minutes at a time. There's also the speed course for a month. If you want to really do um, the entire program in one month versus two to three months. But for that, you really have to be already advanced in the manifestational game. Just want to um, sharpen your tools and learn the way I teach it. Okay. But for this, you need to show up four times a week. This is very intense, but you need to dedicate this month to in order for you to experience the the radical shift, the quick shift if you're impatient and like I said, if you're already advanced in the manifestational game. The the best idea with me is to pre-book ahead, sign the coaching agreement by hand, print your name, date it and send it back to me. If not by a scanned um by a scanner, at least take a clear picture of it. And here's why. I have 20 20 five clients at any given time. Whenever somebody concludes um, their coaching with me, I have the next person in line who already pre-booked and ready to go. So the best idea is always to be ready to come into coaching with me. All right. If you have any questions before booking, um, you can email me or you can just book an hour session with the intention again to um, schedule the monthly. Okay. I come more than pre-advertised. My personality is wide open there. Um, I have like 300 audio slash videos. And so, you know, my teachings, you know, my personality. Okay. At this point, I really have to say a couple of things and I have made this clear on my channel and yet once in a while, there is a person that wanders in into my coaching um, that apparently these things are not clear to. So I just want to reiterate this one more time. I'm not a therapist. Okay, if you have a condition, and, and in my coaching agreement, it does state clearly, if you have a mental illness of some kind, and by mental illness, I don't mean PTSD, I don't mean anxiety, I really mean you're not in touch re with reality, with all due respect and with all due compassion, and I really mean you cannot conduct yourself civilly, and you are chaotic, and you start uh, attacking your coach. These kinds of situations will last like a second with me. Okay, I com I demand that you be respectful uh, towards my time, towards me as a person, as a coach. Okay, if you have a mental illness and you know that of yourself, if you have a history of these situations of outbursts, please, this is not the situation. You don't need a coach. You need a therapist. Okay, you really have to find help elsewhere. Okay, I am not, I don't have the capacity to handle things like that. Okay, I go above and beyond for all my clients. I'm an extremely patient person, actually, regardless of me swearing on my channel. And there's a clause even in my coaching agreement that I swear in my coaching for emphasis only, not to disrespect anybody, but just to express myself to make my point. However, I'm actually a really patient person. Okay, I really try hard before I really give up on somebody. So when you're coming in into coaching with me, I, I would have thought that this is self-explanatory, but you have to be respectful. You have to be respectful of my time and you really need to be reasonable. Okay. Irrational behaviors. This is something I don't tolerate. I'm not equipped to handle these situations. Like I say, and lastly, my fees, some people comment on my YouTube channel and whatever, send me emails. Look, 
I'm not forcing you to come in co- into coaching with me. That's number one. Nobody's asking you to pay this money if you can't afford it. Number two, I don't charge nearly as much as I should. I charge $200 an hour, which is pretty conservative. If you do your research, and please do, by all means, look around at other coaches who don't deliver anywhere in the vicinity of what I offer and charge double and triple an hour um, more than me, okay? Double the, the amount that I charge. My fee for all of the coaching packages is very discounted based on the hours that I spend with each and every single person. Don't forget, I spend two to three times, uh, two to three um, sessions, okay, per week with each person. And after that session is complete, I re-listen to everything. The Zoom session, the conversation on over the phone, their audio, I transcribe it by hand. It, it's new nearly a transcript, okay, because that's how I do things. And I want to listen to it more than once in order for me to be able to grasp everything the person is saying. So if I bill you hourly, this will be like a five, six, uh, $7,000 situation. I don't do that. So please don't give me this fucking bullshit. I don't charge anywhere near what I could be charging. Please look around. Like I said, there are people who charge $10,000 for what... It, it, it's not even in the vicinity what I do. And I meet with you once a month or, tw- or once a week. And they don't even do, del- they don't hold hands with you like I do. They don't spend time. They don't guide you. You don't have access to them constantly like you do to me. My fee is actually really, really fucking conservative based on what I offer. So if you can't afford it, this is on you to, for you to work on things. And besides, I've spoken about this numerous times. When somebody comes into my coaching, their paradigm shifts and they end up making more money. If you don't think this is valuable for you, then by all means, I'm not forcing anybody to come into my coaching. I know what I offer. I know this is of value. If it's not of value to you, carry on. I guess you have it figured out. The end. Please, no more comments. I am really trying to accommodate here a lot of people. I deserve to get paid for my expertise and I'm really making it manageable for a lot of people to do it. So if it's not for you, if it's not important, if it is important, you would figure it out. If it isn't important, your life change, uh, your, uh, the, uh, your change in life is not important for you, by all means, carry on like you do. And if you see somebody well worth your time and money that is somebody else, go to them. I don't care. I really, I really, really don't. I know what I deliver and I know, I know exactly what I'm doing. And I know it because I've changed many people's lives who took the time and took the effort and invested in themselves. And that's all I really know. And if it's not for you, by all means, carry on. Like I said, the subject of today is your SP wants you back badly. Okay. So before we go in into subject, I need to really clarify two things. This is if you've done the work on your beliefs, which yes, is a centerpiece of my coaching with every single person in my coaching. And it's based on your understanding that there are innumerable parallel realities. So the one that you're residing in right now, and by the way, you can substitute the word SP with anything at all. Your money wants you badly. Your career wants you badly, whatever it is. All right, that you really, really want to make happen right now. And by the way, parenthesis here, not for nothing, the amount of fucking knowledge that I give for free on my channel, okay? There are people who have written to me that they like prospered because of my audios. So Liz, please, I will not ter- tolerate any comments whatsoever. I do more than enough for the people um, on my channel and in my coaching. So the end, basta. I don't want to hear it again. Seriously, it's, it's an insult by now. So... It needs to be that you work through your beliefs and it needs to be that you understand the parallel realities because the parallel reality that you are in now, you are noticing the absence more than the presence of that something, okay? You've looked around and you've concluded that here I am, my SP is not with me, they left me, they abandoned me, we separated, haven't heard from them, la, 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 la. The story that you tell yourself day in and day out has direct relationship with your reality that is pictured. If you suddenly changed your mind and started telling your different, telling yourself a different story, you would change the outside as well. 
Okay. And so again, thought transmission and energy is like the ultimate situation that you need to exercise day in and day out. And if you come into my coaching, I will explain it to you how you, specifically you as a person, to do that for you. Because different people, I have to explain it to differently because of their background and what they went through, et cetera, et cetera, their belief systems. But essentially, you're in charge and in control of the narrative, like I said in my last video. And telepathy plays a huge role because whatever you decide on any given day, on any given second, if you decide to travel to the parallel reality where your SP suddenly decides to want you back badly instead of you assuming that they don't want you at all and they've abandoned you and la 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 la, that other story that you've concluded based on your past drama, trauma, panorama, okay, it's an automatic assumption. Notice how it's just an assumption. It automated based on your previous beliefs. Now, if you believe that you're the catch, you're the golden Buddha, you've got it going on, you've invested in yourself, you've created a new business, you know, you, you really studied yourself and you understand ins and outs of your demons, it's especially really, really important to understand your demons. Everybody's got them. It's not like you'll never deal with like shitty situations again. However, the difference is, is that you know how to handle it. There's a difference between a person to put together two people. One knows how to handle it. The other one fucking doesn't and always freaks out. Okay. Everything is the end of the, the world. One person has it together. They've studied this themselves. They've done the work. The other one has no fucking clue who they are, has no fucking clue what kind of power they hold and doesn't understand what beliefs they hold. Otherwise they would get a hold of themselves. Right? So this has to be the absolute must for you to understand. You need to understand yourself. What kind of car am I driving? It's a metaphor. What is the engine it consists of? Do I need to replace the engine? Do I need to change my oil? Do I need to clean the, the windows to see better? <laughs> <laughs> do I need to kind of like, you know, redo the leather seats and this and that, okay? Upgrade yourself, in other words, and the world will start responding to you differently. But if you're assuming that you're unwanted and you go on the assumption based on what is out picturing, taking the cue from the circumstances, when in fact circumstances take the cue from you, you're doing going about it backwards. And so, at any time, you're fully equipped to tell the reality what you want it to do. Literally. It's a decision. Okay? So the title is actually very accurate as opposed to, not for nothing, some other coaches and YouTubers who just put a pretty title to back, uh, back it up with absolutely nothing. It's just a pretty catchy title. But essentially, in the parallel reality, yes, your SP wants you back badly. Your money wants you badly. You're just too busy observing a different reality that you've momentarily stepped into and allowed it to consume you. Okay. It's always a choice. It's like when people say, what am I doing wrong? You're limiting yourself. That's what you're doing wrong. When you're saying I can't afford the coaching, when you're saying uh, um, somebody else can manifest, but I can't, when you're saying um, I'm unwanted, you, you're literally saying no to the very thing that you want. Why are you doing it? I will I will never understand when the choice could be, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can do anything. I'm, I'm unlimited. I'm completely limitless. What you're doing wrong is telling the story in a bogus, distorted way that you've bought into from mama drama panorama. Again, the beliefs of your upbringing and this and that making no effort to change it and blaming the fucking world. Okay, not for nothing, but even in my coaching, 99% of the clients that come into my coaching, they're eager. There are two, two kinds of people that ever came into my coaching. Here it is, 99% of the people, and I believe that that's a reflection on the world, come into the coaching with me and they say, Anna, please help. I will do anything you say, okay, to help myself. I will take your guidance, na na na, and all this stuff. Doesn't mean, by the way, that it's a dictatorship by any stretch of the imagination. Sometimes we disagree and then we have discussions. It's, it's a healthy, normal thing to do. But the zero point, whatever, one percent, 
plays victim consistently. Consistently play poor me, poor me, this happened to me, that happened to me, the world is against me. And they're so stuck in their belief system that there's absolutely no negotiation with their belief system. It's like you can call in the fucking SWAT team, okay, with bulldozers and fucking gun, you know, guns and this and that and the other, with helicopters and whatever else you please, and nothing, but nothing will give inside of them because they're so attached to this committed, just stubbornly committed to this belief system that, you know, the world is just against me and everybody's out to get me. Well, if it's you and you're listening, first of all, please don't come into my coaching. Please don't waste my fucking time. I do not want to work with people like that because that's just, it's, it's a waste of my time. I'd rather work with people who are open to suggestions and are ready to change their world. If you don't have even a scintilla, okay, of flexibility to open the door to new possibilities, you know what, you have a problem of a different kind, like literally, okay, it, coach will not help you to do that, you need to be open to things, okay, you cannot then take it out on your coach and say, you're not a good coach, no, I am a good coach. I'm a fantastic coach, okay? Or whoever else, you know, would be in a position of coaching a person like that. You yourself are not coachable because you're resigning to playing victim. On this channel, I teach people to take accountability for their creations, not in a blameful way, but in taking accountability. This is how I created and now I know how I created it. From this point on, I take responsibility for my life. If you're not a child anymore, take responsibility for your creations. And so if you're limiting yourself, then notice that. Be open to that conversation and arrive at the conclusion that as long as I'm fucking limiting myself, not a goddamn thing will change. Not a coach, not a therapist, not your mama, not your dad, not nobody will help you. Okay, nobody, but no, not even Elon Musk, not Jesus, not Mother Mary. Nobody will fucking help you until you help yourself. Nobody's coming to your rescue. You need to work on yourself. The end. When you're open to your own magic that full time resides there, you're just denying yourself for some reason. It's a sad side, actually, people who do that. Because with, within every person, I'm a true believer in this, okay? Within every person, there's a genius. There's an undiscovered genius, if they don't know who they are, full of endless potential. Forget fucking SP. You can build empires, okay? You have undiscovered talent within you right now. And so the fundamental wrong thing that anybody can be doing right now who's not achieving their manifestations is saying no to your own manifestations, limiting yourself, barring yourself from them. The end. You can tell a mountain to move and, will, and it will fucking move. And not in a very long period of time, in a very short amount of time. Okay, again, going back to parallel realities, if you really download this concept and realize that the entire world is responding to you and you can tell the reality what to do, you can tell your SP what to think. You can not literally like, hello, my SP, this is what you're going to think. No, internally, telepathically, you're thinking this right now. I'm corresponding voluntarily and on purpose, deliberately with the parallel reality in which my SP wants me back badly. They realize I'm the only one they're like completely gaga over me suddenly in quotations not sad not so suddenly that reality always existed but now you got off your ass and suddenly decided that you know what it's about fucking time that i changed my fucking life all right i've had it i've had it of this shit show situation i might as well just for the change sake okay just for the sake of seeing something else on the screen of my life i might as well experiment okay what do i have to lose like people say nothing I everything to gain, okay? Entertain a new idea. This new reality that you really are enchanted with and really want to experience is not even a millimeter uh, away from you. It's a decision away. It's a vibration away. You can sitting right now or wherever you are driving or whatever, cooking, whatever the fuck people do when they listen to me, you can right now Okay, make a decision to vibrate differently in accordance with that parallel reality where your SP is going apeshit over you.
doesn't know how to come back to you, uh, you know, composing poems and writing songs. <laughs> trying to find the perfect words to convince you to even listen to them. Fuck an apology. An apology is so generic. Why don't they show up with like a fucking helicopter and the Guns N' Roses band, you know, you know, and he like paid them to compose a special song for you or some shit like that, you know, Lenny Kravitz or somebody, you know, um, Bob Dylan, whatever, whoever, you know, tickles your fancy. Things like that. Make it extraordinary, okay? Make this existence extraordinary for yourself. And, and, in, a sen- and in essence, you really have to entertain what you haven't lived. I'm all for, you know, bringing back SPs and, you know, getting an apology, getting engaged and getting married. But it's how you go about it. Are you going about it like a queen or a king of your reality? Or are you going about it like a fucking begging peasant? Because you might get your SP back, but you know what? You might get them back, and then you know what? It's a whole new, same kind of, but new uh, level of shit show all over again. So in order for you to produce valuable results that are long-lasting, you really need to change yourself and entertain a whole new world. And for that to be able to happen, you really need to start producing a new wavelength in the quantum field that corresponds to the new reality where you expect the world to be in your favor. You expect that it's easy to switch realities. You live as if this is already here. In the second you decide that you don't need anybody's permission to start acting like exactly like that person who is loved and adored by the SP, who is making millions of dollars a year, who is so prosperous, so abundant, so healthy, so joyous, so in sync with the universe. Nothing on earth can stop you. Everything just works out in your favor and you create that world for yourself. Okay, where your telepathy rules your universe. You literally can tell them in visualization, whether that's your SP or whoever, it doesn't have to be romantic, business partner, whoever, okay, your, your parents, whoever. Listen, this is what I want you to do for me. This is how I want you to act. This is what I want you to say to me next. This is telepathy. You do this already anyway. You just do it in reverse, like I always say. Why don't you try to exercise your power on purpose for a change? Just for the sake of change. Just for the sake of seeing something different. Okay? And it's not about trying. It's not about, oh, does manifestation really work? Are you breathing? Yes, then manifestation works. Are you seeing objects outside? you know, on the uh, a, a screen of your space, yeah, then, then you're manifesting. Otherwise, you would just be in the fucking dark without a body, with nothing to look at. You're manifesting all the time. So manifestation does work. It's just a matter of the quality of manifestation that you're experiencing and responsibility, taking responsibility for if my life is a shit show right now, I've got work to do. And it has nothing to do with anybody but with me. Okay, that is very empowering because you take back the power into your hands. Many people go through trauma, drama, panorama. It's the response to it. Am I going to fall victim to it and start blaming the world? Or am I going to learn something from it and understand myself better and create a better world for myself? That's illustrating to everybody else around me in the world how to transform yourself, even though coming from a very challenging situation. And don't worry, people have far more challenging situations than you right now. I bet you money, you may not even have heard of situations that are far more, um, you know, laborious and and just terrifying and this, that, and the other. You don't have it that bad, okay? It's a matter of commanding new results into fruition. It's not about trying. You just command it and consider it done. That's how you know it is really done. 
because it, the decision is yours. And then you can relax and enjoy the fruits of your energy transmission. It's about communicating to everybody, your SP including, the kind of person you are becoming now, the one that is sought after, the one that is prosperous, the one that is loved and adored, and everything turns into your favor. It's a matter of decision. It's a matter of decision. So it's either you feel the presence of your objective or the absence of it. It's your decision. Either way, you're creating it. The end. And the most important conversations you'll ever have is the ones that you have with yourself. But those conversations are not so secret. Again, they reverberate throughout the universe. Everybody gets the memo. It's like the invisible internet. Take a second to do this exercise today. Command somebody to do something. And consider it done and tell them in your mind, this is what you're doing. But not like, mm, could you please? No, you're doing it. You're doing it. Become that magician of your life. Like you are going to do this. You know, this is the right thing to do. Okay, use it wisely, obviously. Don't be evil or whatever, but I assume, I'm going on the assumption that, that that's how you're going to use it. Don't be evil towards other people. It's just going to come back to you. The end. Don't, don't say I didn't tell you, by the way. And so you can command that money to come to you. You can talk to the money this way. Hey, money, this some amount of money, you're coming to me right now, right now. Not tomorrow, not the day after, no, 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 right now. And all of these things that were before invisible to you will start becoming visible. Why? Because you got off your ass and started commanding. You started exercising your power. Now, many of you don't exercise this power because you don't know you have it and you haven't exercised it maybe ever in your life. Nevertheless, it's available to you. And so as soon as you start really kind of like understanding how this universe works, the parallel realities, the, the fact that you have the power, that you can make it inevitable and obvious that your objective is coming to you no matter what happens, no matter how it looks like right now, no matter what happened before. They Right now, this second, your SP wants you back badly, like badly. Everything you want to decide about them that's in your favor, you've got it, no matter what it is. You want a proposal, done. You want an apology, done. You want, you know, children and a family with them, done, 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 done. No matter what it looks like right now. But you need to go in with an open mind because this is a reality that will not be able to accept your bullshit beliefs and bullshit attitude about manifestation. You need to be wide open because this is a reality you've never been to before. And my my understanding is such that you know, you're no longer not not only do you want to get there, but you want to stay there. And so the fundamental change within you is absolutely mandatory. It's not just to visit one time and oh get a glimpse of that reality how pretty no to stay there forever and then from that reality upgrade to even higher level all right and then higher and higher and higher you go and ultimately the idea is this for every single client in my coaching i always tell them this time next year i want you to look back and really kind of like have fun with it how little you gold yourself at this is my job to challenge people to kind of like challenge their beliefs, challenge their goals, you know, thrive for more, etc. But I want you to look back at this time next year and really laugh at your objectives, how little you expected of yourself. Because this situation that I'm discussing about SPs and this and that, I only discuss it because it attracts attention and it really drives them to want to change themselves. Fundamentally, the affairs of the heart are a really good motivator. What can I say? But essentially, it serves a double duty. You do get your SP back, but in the process, you give yourself the most amazing of all gifts of all time is you change yourself, hopefully. Motivated by, by some schmuck, chances are, maybe you want to keep him, maybe you don't, maybe he's a good guy. I don't know if he's a good guy, good for you. But sometimes it's somebody who just really pissed you off and broke your heart. Nevertheless, that serves a purpose. Okay, and if it's somebody you really want to bring back, good, you can manifest a different version, this and that. But ultimately, ultimately, 
All of these other things are secondary. You're the one in control and in charge. Make it a, a number one priority for you to understand it, to explore it, to invest time and yes, money into it. The best investment of your fucking life and really make it your life's journey to level up more, more, more and more and keep challenging yourself every single, I mean, till the, for the rest of your life, for the rest of your life. I do not know a better way to spend my days than this. Thank you very much for listening. All the information from me is below. Until next time. Ciao, ciao.